wow, the scale of this. <gasps> Distant bloom, beautiful. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. Today in the cafe, we are playing Distant Bloom. Uh, I'm very excited for this demo. Thanks to Ember Trail for providing it as a part of the Wholesome Snack demos. Um, as always, I want to make sure and disclose I'm part of the Wholesome Games crew, but um, this demo is, is being made available to the, all of the public. So I'm just really excited to experience it. So let's hop in. Please keep in mind this is a pre-alpha demo giving a small taste of what we're working on. Its quality does not represent a full release. Somewhere at the edge of the universe, a colorless planet covered by dark clouds. Its inhabitants are desperately scouring the skies in search of a new home. Large telescopes peer into space piercing the veil of galaxies. Cold gas giant, lava planet, barren world. But maybe there, yay, <laughs> a tiny planet colored by pleasant greens and blues. Twelve brave altars and a small robot are sent on an exceptionally long journey. Boink, boink. Their mission? To build a new home and save the future of the altar species. So, no pressure. None at all. It's a bit of a heavy weight to bear for twelve, twelve members of a species. Assistant. Uh, sleeper, sleeper, wake up! Uh, I'm awake, I think. Asleep for five, 547,500 cycles. Stand up, awakener! Aww. Are these dragonflies flying around me? <laughs> oh, just a nap! <laughs> After crash landing onto a new planet, is stuck. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All right, let's pick this up and free our little robot friend. Cute. Hey there, bud. Don't be scared. Big thank, Untrapper. What happened? Error. Memory data. Uncomplete. Incomplete. Are together safe now. Yeah, but my cryoprod is completely broken. And where is the hearth ship? Detached. M my pod detached from the hearth ship? Did it separate during the landing? Yes, yes. Detached. Crashed. Trapped. Keiki? Uh... Are you okay? <laughs> Run diagnostics. 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 Untrapper nearby. <laughs> Smiley face. KK protect. Yes, I'm here. Don't worry. Can you locate the hearth ship? Triangulation. Outside. Radius. And we'll have to search for it. The Elder and the others might be in danger. Let's get away before this thing goes boom! <laughs> That's true. Now I want to make sure there's nothing I should probably grab or save, but looks like probably not. We've got shiny. New resource. A raspberry. <laughs> It's a very different looking raspberry than I'm familiar with. Oh, it's slightly gooey. Interesting. It's crystal, but gooey. Okay, I cannot jump. That activates, yeah. Oh, and we can talk to our friend. Following Pathfinder. So it looks like on our way to this ship, or this planet that we think that we can inhabit to try and save our species, after looking for lake. Yeah, it looks, it doesn't look very, doesn't look very healthy or habitable, but yikes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like we're, we've got to find our community and hopefully we'll be able to figure out what's going on here. What's that sound? Scanner, accessing mission guidebook, 
All elder assistants are provided with standard issue equipment. It includes one backpack, one scanner, one tool belt, and a large portion of positive attitude. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm still shaken from the crash. Take out your scanner. Oh. So what's... The scanner picked, that's what the scanner picked up. Is it supposed to look like this? Okay, so scan the plan plant. Elongated cloudy herb. Ooh, with a flashing skull. That's not promising. Uh, it matches a guidebook entry on herbs, but it's dead. Hmm. Onwards, planet scanner. <laughs> I like how with each task, um, is Keiki keeps referring to me as like my role. Um, so it's never... <laughs> referring to me as a consistent thing is always based on what I am doing. This icon tells you a plant's growing state. Keep an eye on it. Well, it's not growing anymore. Okay. Nope, oh, we just went in a circle. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, circles aside, what have we got? What else we got? Okay, more raspberry. Oh, I should have scanned it. Rasbaro? Is that what it was called? That's funny, because like a barrel like the stone. This is good music. Another shiny. Okay, so let's scan this one. Rasbaro. It's slightly gooey. Alright. We've unequipped our we've unequipped our scanner for now. Keep going, Pathfinder. What's this junk doing here? Pod crash. Too old and rusty. But how? This planet is supposed to be untouched. Yeah, unless we landed on the wrong planet. Pick. Ew, why would I pick up someone else's trash? Research. Uh, trash researcher. Too niche. I need a lab coat for that. And I don't have a lab coat. But I can hand this over to our actual scientists if they're awake. Ah, so, okay, we can't take on the role. Oh, well, we can, but we don't want to, it seems like. Which is kind of interesting. My character has a bit more personality than uh, being kind of a blank slate. It sounds like they don't really want to do the trash pickup. Oh, can you carry a rock? Drop it? Okay, can I drop it in... I cannot drop it into the, the liquid, but I can lift it up and move it so I can get a rasp barrel. Discovered the cliff paths. Ooh. All right, well, let's move this over here. It's nice to pick up some trash. Look at all the bugs. Really wonder if this was the same planet, then I wonder what's happened in our journey here. Um, did we land on the wrong planet? Accessing last registered coordinates. Mission destination reached. Then why is everything dying? What about this plant? It looks different from the last one. Scan again. Okay, well, here we go. Diminutive furled fern. Okay, so it is a different plant. Looks like a fern of some sort. I wonder what other types of plants are out there. Hmm. Well, let's grab a raspberry and think on this. I love the way that the movement feels. This feels very smooth. Very slick. I like it. Oh, hello! Another cryopod. Whoever's inside is still sound asleep. Should we wake them up? Accessing mission guidebook. Follow safety regulations. Only the mission leader may wake crew members from cryo sleep. Oh, I really hope the elder is safe. Otherwise, this altar will be in there for a long time. No more sleep is lonely. Oh, don't worry. We'll come back for them. Oh, my sweet little robo friend. Okay, it looks like I can't... I can't pick that up. Okay. Oh, but look, there is, there is more stuff. Careful, rock hopper. <laughs> I like that they called me rock hopper. Oh, we've got some more plants here. Okay. Got twisted oval tree. Uh, more of the herb. 
large metal pile needs tools. Yeah, these are all large metal piles. And another elongated cloudy herb. Okay, so we've got a lot. This is a large pile. Rock hopper's pod. Oh my gosh, we've come so long. I love how natural this feels to explore this world and just keep moving through it and see things as we kind of get further in the distance. Ooh, we discovered a cave. That's exciting. Scary, says Keiki. Hmm. But yeah, this world feels real in terms of its structure. Oh, hey, we were able to touch this water. So it's it looks very different, but at least it's not harmful. Beep, beep. What is it? Hearth ship within Brazius. Oh, you're right. I can see it on my scanner now. This is your compass. Boop. Uh, it shows points of interest and time of day. Oh, very cool. Okay. We'll have a time of day. Discovered some fields. <gasps> Wahoo! Oh my gosh! That that is definitely the hearth ship if I've ever seen one. Go down. <laughs> oh, that's a woohoo! Elder, you are awake? Of <laughs> la la la. Of course I am. A robot could not be in charge of landing the hearth ship. It's a delicate task which I executed flawlessly. So you meant to detach the cryopods? <sighs> Awkward! Probably not. <laughs> detach? <laughs> Naturally. What did you see on your way here? Um, I saw another altar's pod. It seemed intact but locked. Of course, I alone hold the security key to open them, which makes your presence here quite surprising. Um, my pod was damaged. I woke up on the ground and found Keiki trapped by debris. Big oof. <laughs> oh, I, um, I'm... Well, you are here now and you can start assisting me, assistant. Should we wake up the other altar? All in good time. We need to set up a home base first. Um, but they could be, I mean... I don't know, the state of their cryopods, this might not be good. The pods are there to keep them safe. Yours was just unlucky. Enough about this now. Was there anything else? It's interesting because, like, I, I don't want to immediately be suspicious of the Elder, but the fact that the Elder is already, like, not... Kind of skimming over the fact, not taking ownership of maybe something went wrong with the ship, that... You know, there's there's a little bit here that makes me feel like there's something going on with this elder. And I don't know if it's lack of confidence in their leadership, their own leadership, nervousness about things going wrong. Um, and maybe they're just not wanting to share those nerves with their assistant or if there's something maybe more nefarious. I'm hoping it's just it's the nerves. I hope they're just like, oh, I really didn't want things to go wrong and I don't want to admit it. Um... This place is not what we expected. Was there something wrong with our telescopes? This planet looked lush with life when we saw it from Ultra 2. The images might have been a little fuzzy, but we've been in cryosleep for a very long time. Oh, so maybe it's just a duration of time. What happened during such a period, only the plentiful knows. Was there anything else? Um, I found this junk scattered around. You picked up trash from the ground? It's really strange. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Strange how? I've never heard of a planet without trash. Have you? Uh, no. But again, if this was meant to be a sort of untouched, pristine world, something's not adding up. Speaking of which, I need you to move all this junk out of the way so we can start unpacking. <laughs> Report back to me when you are done. All right, so we've got to pick up the scrap metal around the hearth ship. Witness, <gasps> oh, I had no idea plants look so pretty. This is, this is beyond pretty. This is magical and stunning. So if we pick up trash, is this going to perhaps, okay, so we can't pick up those, but are we, oh my God, we're bringing color back to the world. This is beautiful. Wow. 
Okay. Oh, I, I see what we're I see what we're setting up here in the game. Um, there's a little bit of um e ecological message as well. Again, the the lore of this is very interesting. I'm excited to find out what happened. Why was Trash here? Was there another group that maybe arrived before we did from the same place and left all of this trash? Um, oh my god, beautiful. The colors. I can't wait to see more of this world um, filled with just, oh my gosh, with greenery and just like this lush kind of life. I like that there's butterflies instead of sort of the darker, almost dragonfly looking creatures. I like dragonflies, but, um, you know, they were definitely darker and a little bit more ominous. So, okay, we've got one or two more pieces. I think that's all I can clean for now. Oh, wow. The scale of this <gasps> distant bloom. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. I, I'm a sucker for games that have this element of like color in the world, restore, and you see this progress. It's so wonderful and satisfying. Um, games like Flower or, um, gosh, there was this really lovely paint. It was called like Newt One, I think. Oh gosh, hold on one second. I have to, I have to remember what it was called. Um, it was called Newt was it Newt 1? Yes, it was called Newt 1. It was like a really lovely color in the world game. There's lots of games that play with this as a mechanic. Um, so I'm, I love seeing it in this, this form too. Unusual activity. Where? Where are you headed? What's going on? Oh, big root. Scan the root. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, this bar shows how many plants you've healed in an area. Keep going. Oh, a bit of life is coming back into this root. Where it lead? Inside the cave? Uh, I can't really see. We'll need something to cross the ravine. Um, wish we had our builder here to help out. We we'll just have to come up with something on our own. But that's for later. The elder is waiting for us now. Hmm, all right. I like that, um... We're going to try to find ways to revitalize this land and work with community members. It's not us doing everything. It sounds like we get to work with community members to make it happen. Goodness, this place not a tad too green? What did you do? Uh, I cleaned up the trash. Cleaned? Did you pick it off the ground again? Uh, yes. You are a strange one. Elsewhere is soon forgotten, as the old saying goes. Now we should wake up, ah... Uh, Bahan, so they can set up the exonutri processor. I'm getting quite hungry. Was it them I saw in the pod on my way here? Could be. Ask the robot to lead you to them. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, take your cryopod security key. Off you pop, both of you. Okay, so now let's talk to Keiki. Flavor chemist. All right, position detected. Let's go! Oh, maybe. Is it the same spot? Oh, the water is blue, too. Oh, seeing all these changes is so wonderful. Okay, this is going a different way. Oh, we pick up the trash on the way. I don't know if it's going to make everything colorful, but why not? We're pass buying. passing by. Okie dokie. Ah, here. Oh, maybe this is just coming from a different direction. Cool. Found it. Let's open that pod up. What's behind door number one? <laughs> Hello. Oh, my back. Wakey, wakey. Oh, well, that's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive? Yes, we're on Ultra 3 now. Aha. So, we know that we came from Ultra 2. Which means there has to have been an Ultra 1. We are a nomadic species. I'm curious at what happened. And we, maybe we saw it in the beginning and I forgot. But I'm curious what happened because if we're transferring and moving from planet to planet, 
does this mean we are the ones maybe causing the planets to not be inhabitable in the first place? It seems kind of... Hmm. There's something there. There's something there. Thank goodness. I don't think I could... My bones could have taken one more day in that pod. And the others? Are they well? It's just us for now, but the Elder thinks the others are safe. And I was looking forward to seeing everyone again. I guess the Elder is waiting for us at the hearth ship. Let me take my things before we go. Okay. What in the name of pl the plentiful is this? What is this shovel doing in my pod? Did I sleep on this thing the entire journey? No wonder my back is killing me. Oh no. Who had the groundbreaking idea of storing it in here? Go easy. Here, I'll take this off your hands. Thank you. I don't want to see that thing ever again. Oh, well, it just so happens I could use this shovel for some uh, digging up of large large trash pieces. There we go. All right, so we're picking up the scrap metal. Goodbye flies, hopefully. Maybe not. All right, and let's walk around and see if we can get some get some more trash cleared up in this area too. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Look at this. planet looks more like home than I thought. Is this maybe our planet? I don't know. Like, did we even leave? Did we somehow get set back? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is, we're going to find out some maybe uncomfortable truths about our, our people. Here's the cave. I'm taking the long way just in case, um, Aha, uh -huh. I was gonna say, or maybe it's not the long way, but I wanna take, make sure and clean up trash as much as I can. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Things are looking beautiful and green. And there's a couple other big piles. Uh, I'm gonna clean those up before I activate the next bit of narrative. I wish restoring nature and wildlife was this quick. The music's lovely too. I love... I, I don't know if it's because I'm in the hearth ship area and this just grows because of that or because I also heal more of the land. Bahan! How good to see you, Elder. I would have naturally come to wake you up myself, but uh, I cannot leave the hearth ship in the hands of a greenhorn. No worries, your assistant has been very helpful. Good. Then leave it to them to set up your tent. A tent? Wasn't Reisa supposed to build homes for us? Protocol dictates to be set up to set up basic facilities before waking more crew members. Food first, then shelter. Um... <laughs> so, I could ask, why can't Bahan set up their tent? Um, but... You know, at this point in time, I do know that Bahan is supposed to be in charge of setting up the food space, and... I... I'm not doing anything else, so why not offer that hand, you know? Um... I could be helpful. Elder could be helpful too. Let's be honest. Elder could be doing stuff, but um, when you're in a situation like this, it's like no person or alien <laughs> should be bigger than any job, right? I appreciate that. Well, as long as I have space for all my flavor capsules. Tell Bahan when you are done. There's more to do next. All right, place Bahan's tent. It sits in the heart ship neatly packed in a box. Okay, here we go. So let's carry this. <laughs> How cute! Let's drop it there. Ah! Oh, and morale has improved! So not only are we restoring the nature, but we're also trying to keep the morale of our, our comrades and community up as well. Your tent awaits you! See, so in that case, doing things like... 
like taking an extra second, even though it's it's not hard, you know, just take a moment, help someone with their tent. That helped the morale. I, I'm curious. I probably had to, but it would be interesting if the developers left the option of like, you don't do it and then Paran sets up their own tent and then morale doesn't improve and or maybe goes down a little bit that could be an interesting way to show as well um like if if the developer offers the choice but i think maybe that might not be the case all right let's see it by the way the elder wants us to install the exo nutri processor could you carry it from the ship while i unpack my flavor capsules sure thanks all right, so we're gonna find it on the hearth ship. Now we do have the other quest uh, with the root, but I figure food might be nice to have. Nice going. I've had my fair share of carrying these things, but my back still hurts and I wouldn't want to drop it. That's a limited series processor, you know. Then they should have made it lighter. <laughs> I hear you on that. Now all that's left is to find something to put inside. How can we know it's safe to eat? Metal scrap. <laughs> no, altars can't eat that, Keiki. Maybe the elder remembers something. The great wilt happened before ta the time I became a flavor chemist, so I don't know much about organic ingredients. But I'll look around to see if I can find anything. Keep an eye out, too. Okay, optional. Talk to the elder. So this is interesting. We are getting the choice to either engage and participate in helping or do our own thing. Um, I'll talk to the elder. Do you think we can use the plants in the processor? Naturally. You may be too young to remember this, but they used to be added to food. That was a long time ago. Oh, why did we stop using plants in food? We simply ran out. Most plants on Ultra 2 disappeared during the Great Wilt. Of course, but I've never really understood what happened. Why did they die? Only the plentiful knows. I have heard similar wilts happen before, yet none so severe. But that was a long time ago. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious fishy. I'm no flavor chemist, but I assume the same way as we use synthetic ones. Just dump them all in the processor and sprinkle the flavor you want on top. <laughs> I once met an altar who used to select every ingredient individually. What an eccentric. Yasmar, I think their name was. But that was a long time ago. Thank you, Elder. All this talking made me even hungrier. All right. So I'm going to take a second really fast. Um, in addition to picking uh, some of these herbs, I'm... Seeds, I've never seen one before. Oh, well, let's take a closer look. How curious. It's protected by a hard shell. It must be really important to the plants. How can anything grow from such a small thing? Hey there, any luck? Come here, look! I found some seeds. Excellent. I couldn't find anything, but those will do just fine. Now let's get cooking. Okay, but I wanna... I, I don't think maybe... Uh, finish objectives, make some food. I guess... Exo Nutri. Um, I guess I am done. Okay. I was going to check out the root, but I guess that's not the priority right now. New food! Jelly is ready! <laughs> Doesn't look very appetizing. Well, look at that. We might make a flavor chemist out of you. Cakey tastes! Uh, I don't feel like Cakey would do well with jelly? I don't know. But I mean, I guess I would assume that it wouldn't intentionally consume something that's bad for it, right? Oh, smiley face. I can't. La, 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 la. Certainly not. Oh, party pooper. La, 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 the robot la, 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 might be redundant now that we landed, but I will not have it malfunction because jelly stuck in its gears. La, 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 now let us eat. I am starving. La, 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 la. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> nom. Nom. <laughs> Nom. Oh, uh, this jelly is disgusting. There's no seasoning. What happened to the flavor? Uh, I didn't want to say anything, but... The processor's flavor infuser must be damaged. No, we need to overreact. Just fix it. I can't. This line was recalled from the market because of an accident involving a hamster. 
Exoco couldn't give us any spare parts. Ah, oh, in the name of the plentiful. <laughs> then we have no choice but to eat the jelly as is. Elder, with respect, I've had to mix some very questionable flavors in my career, but this is unbearable. On my pride as a flavor chemist, we must do better. Then what are we going to eat? I, I don't know. I need some time to clear my head. Oh, what a mess. Oh dear. Okay, I'll let you think. What a mess. Elder? Oh, <clears throat> what now? Elder is coughing quite a bit. I'm a little nervous for about that too. Are you alright? Naturally. Why would I not be? This crash landing situation took a toll on all of us, but we must remain calm and follow protocol. Mahan's dedication to their job is admirable, but knowing them, they will sulk over that jelly for a long while. Can we even eat it if we can't pick the flavor? What else can we do? Eat raw plants? Bah! Perhaps it's time to wake up Risa. Hopefully our reliable builder can repair the processor, or at least talk some sense into Bahan. I updated the data cloud, so now your scanner should pick up the signal of nearby pods. Of course, Elder. I'll go look for Risa right away. Okay, so we're going to check our compass and head southwest. <laughs> oh, the glowy flowers are beautiful. I love them so much. All right, so now... Uh-oh. All right, well, we got a lot to clear here. Now, I don't know if in the evening time there's potentially any dangers or things that we should look out for. So far, nothing in the game has indicated to me that we need to be careful um, in terms of like wild creatures or ooh, discovered some hills or, or anything really dangerous but you never know do you think it's sturdy enough to walk on well hey there's the root I think so excuse me root bridge wait for me okay well let's harvest while we can. We're here. Oh. Keiki protect. Cute. This music is so hopeful and sweet. Right, nothing, nothing in this corner here. It is evening time, so it's a little bit harder to see. But there's enough detail that I can make out what's going on. Oh! <gasps> I find it interesting. Again, all of them seem to detach. And it seems, I mean, they came with parachutes, but I don't know if they're all fell safe parachutes. I find it a little bit, again, worrisome that it didn't sound like we were supposed to detach, but it looks like all of us did. So the cliffs are less steep north of the coastline. All right, so we'll have to go north and then around, it looks like. It's launched into the other side of the cliff. I don't think we can reach it from here. Let's find another bridge. Okay, so if we can go up. There we go. I was like, come on, let these plants grow. We'll harvest seeds while we can. Oh, seed bag full. Okay. Doesn't look like I can walk across this water. There's a ras barrel. We'll have to make sure and grab that. Oh, I love that um, I'm not happy that the light went away, but I think it's really cool that the light sort of moves, oh, here we go, um, away when I take away the barrel. You know, I've been wondering. I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them, right? Ask seed? Uh, um, I don't think they can talk. <laughs> can they? Let's put it in the ground instead. You shovel, seed planter. All right, take out our shovel. Uh, dig. And plant. There we go. And now we can begin expanding the greenery on our own too. Looks like things come in sets of three, so we can't just create like infinite connecting hexagons. Oh, when I planted the herb and the, the other plants grew too. Is that a tree and a fern? Oh, there seems to be some sort of like nice, is it symbiotic where they kind of all benefit from one another? 
herb fern tree grows together. I remember learning about how plants, like some of them you want to plant all next to each other because they do really well. Like it was like for anyone who does plant, maybe you know and you can tell me, but it's like beans and tomatoes and like, I don't know, another plant. If you plant all three of them together, the way that they uh, use up nutrients in the soil and kind of like how they behave and stuff, they, they are really good and complementary for one another. It's kind of like that. Yes, maybe the plants are like us. Having neighbors makes them happy. I bet the other plants have seeds too. We can harvest some and keep growing different plants next to each other. So to fully grow, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I wonder how much of this is drawing from botany and actual like sort of best practices. Um, Cause I would imagine when you're trying to repopulate a place to have all of one thing is bad. Um, I imagine like when you talk about the mass fields of corn, for example, or overusing one area for one thing in particular, it leads to that land being sort of stripped of the nutrients. Um, but if you have this ecosystem, again, it's better because there becomes this cycle. So I wonder how much of this is really drawing from that, that science. Okay, so let's dig. I'm gonna dig both of these. So this, let's see what's my scanner. This is a herb, so I need to plant. Oh wait, this is another herb. So I, oh, I can't plant it. That marks it as red, like no, no, no. Okay, so I'll have to get some other seeds. But this is a tree. Oh, it says scan tree. So I guess that tells me what I need to know. <laughs> so I can plant an herb. And there's a cuckoo, that nice sound. Okay. I wonder if I'll be able to like dig this out. I hope so. Okay, so now I've been distracted. My whole hope was to find a way to reach the pod. Um, it looks like it says the cliffs north of. So let's harvest. Uh, we don't want to harvest herb. We want to harvest tree and fern. Okay, so now let's remove this. And it give me a red. Let's plant a fern. And that worked out nicely. And let's plant a tree. I love this. I love these sort of mini biomes. These relationships are forming right here. And we'll need one more. So we have a plant, I think. Uh, I think I planted a fern. So now... Hold on, let's get the scanner. Herb, tree, now we need a fern. And it looks like we might be growing some sort of root bridge right here once everything flourishes. There we go. Beautiful! I love it. Oh my gosh. I, I kind of like the, the puzzle element that this is introducing. Because um, we have like fern we have herb and we want to make sure that sort of all three are touching, you know, uh, I, th I, I would guess. Uh, so let me just dig these so I can just worry about planting and nothing else. So there's a little bit of like making sure that each fern has a tree and a herb. Um, so right here, like this is a tree. So I want to make sure that there is a... What is this? This was a fern. So this has to be an herb. Boop. And then this has to be a fern. Because now we've got the three here. Ha! Oh, this is making me feel smart and cool. Um, <laughs> it's not complex, but it's making me feel just real good. All right. And I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I could have just planted whatever, but um, it's nice to sort of think that way. So now, let's see, we've got an herb, a fern. So I would like to plant, oh, I didn't, let's plant a tree here. Um, tree seed. And we have a, an herb. 
a fern, and a tree. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, well, let's try this because this is what I thought maybe wouldn't work. Is if I put an herb here. It wouldn't be ideal. Yeah, so it's blue, so it's not prime. So let me put a tree here. Good, good, good. And now we have... Oh! And then it threw a plant. So we were able to plant everything. Looks like we did a decent job. We probably could optimize it a little bit better, but... I think this is pretty good. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna harvest some tree seeds just to fill up my coffers again. I'm gonna harvest some herb seeds. Oh, there we go. I was like, am I stuck? That would be very sad. All right, we're, we're set. Ah, did we not? Oh, here. It's because we have a whole second section here. So this right here is, what is it, an herb? So we need to plant a fern. We need to plant a tree. All right, so hopefully that's enough to make this grow. Beautiful. Whoa, okay. So we're gonna go through this and dig all of them just so we can easily and quickly plant what we need. All right, we grew another set. I also learned that you can't just like dig everything. Um, you, I only was able to dig like two or so holes, two or three, and then it sort of uh, removed them. So you can't plan too far ahead. Okay, let's harvest some fern spores. Okay, I think we're all set. We should be getting, getting relatively close to the cliffs over here. Yeah, here we go, our new friend. What's behind door number two? Wakey, wakey. Oh, how did they get out of the pod? Unless, oh, no. Did we forget Reza on Ultra 2? KK guard pods, builder on ship. Oh, Reza left note. Read? Um... Well, I am the Elder's assistant, so I mean, if we could find Reza. Heading to Trifurcation 13710. We'll go to Hearthship from there. Okay. But we're supposed to go to the ship if we get separated. I never thought Reza would break the rules. No Pathfinder. Lost? I doubt it. They're heading somewhere else. Typical Reza, leaving no details. Let's bring the note to Elder Umarel. All right, now I'm wondering, now that we have water, can I... Okay, so I cannot walk on water, but it looks like we have some stones that we're able to cross now. And let's go. <laughs> You've got mail. Looks like we have another quest. Another quest to go to the elder. Oh, look at this lush grass. It's now covering everything. The fields are looking glorious. Super relaxing. All right. Elder, I found Reza's pod empty. By the plentiful. But they left a note. Why did you not start with that? Oof, nearly gave me a heart attack. Give it here. Mm, it's addressed to me, but I can see it has been opened. Not by any nosy assistant, I hope. Ugh, let us see. Heading to... Reza ventured out to some unknown coordinates? I never expected Reza to be so rash, but I trust they can handle themselves regardless. It must be something very important to draw a reliable builder away from the hearth ship. I will try to locate where they are headed. Until then, stand by, assistant. Okay. Quest completed. Now, interestingly enough, it looks and sounds like, with the builder at least, we were using both she and they pronouns? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. I have to pay a little bit better attention. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm not surprised. You've been running around all day. Why don't you take a break? Come, let's light a campfire. Oh, marshmallows not included. Oh, this is giving me Outer Wilds flashbacks. I don't have my automatic lighter with me. There's barely any flame. Analyzing. Low oxygen level. Maybe the Elder knows how to do this. They were probably around when fire was discovered. 
<laughs> like how we're having a little bit of a, a moment at, at sort of the expense of the elder a little. Mahan and I plan to hang out around the campfire, but I don't know how to start it up. Try finding something you have in common. That's always good for st <laughs> No, not about the conversation. Oh, I meant the fire is not lighting up. Ah. I can, of course, show you how to do it. L just give me some time to find my tooth toot. Your what? Uh, alright. Pass the time quicker by the firewood. Okay. Let's do it. Day campfire? You're right, we should light it where it's dark outside. Okay, well... You know what? Let's, uh, let's pass until nightfall. Alright, can we do the- Oh, look at this little gathering! Now let me show you how to start a proper fire. You just need to blow more oxygen into it. Good thing I brought my tooth toot with me. Oh, fancy! It's an instrument as well as a functional item, it seems. Toot! <laughs> Exceptional! Oh, my ears! Is the tooth toot necessary, Elder? Not at all, but it's certainly entertaining. <laughs> I used to be in a tooth toot band back in the days, you know? I think the Elder, you know, at the beginning when I was like, I don't know if there's nefariousness behind this or just incompetence or uncertainty I think it's it was it's more uncertainty maybe not even incompetence but just uncertainty and nervousness and wanting to do a good job but being un but unable to admit that maybe they needed help um, what songs did you play what did we not play take me back to ultra one I want to be an elder alter love well that's my favorite we mostly played covers exclusively with tooth toots Goodness. <laughs> How did you learn? My grandparent also my grandparent also always had an appreciation for Altarian folk songs. I picked up the toot toot from them. This one is actually a family heirloom. That's cool. Do you still play? Not much these days. Well why not? Personal reasons. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Uh, yawn. It's getting late. Yes, let us retire for the night. Sleep well. Quest completed. Kiki, Kiki, not tired. Oh, you want to explore some more? Why don't we get back to chant? Why don't we go back to check on the plants we saw when searching for the ship? Good, good. Big route too? Sure, we can check on the route as well. Maybe figure out a way to cross that ravine. All right, so let's go and see if we can cross that ravine then. Perhaps it'll lead us to some bigger plants, more interesting areas. Oh. Look, Kiki, the root is growing across the ravine. Plant healer did good. Well, yeah, let's see what else is here. This is, oh. Wow. Strange wall, or is that a door? It looks ancient. But how? I had no idea this planet was ever inhabited. <gasps> oh, have we unlocked the door itself? I don't... So if any of you have played Outer Wilds, this is, this is mechanically nothing like the Outer Wilds. And I think this species is very unlike the Nomai in a lot of ways. They're not similar. But also, I am getting, like, hints of the Outer Wilds in this a little bit. In this sort of, I don't know, in visiting this world, the puzzles, the unlocking. I think I just miss Outer Wilds. Again, they're not, like, they're not the same at all. But I, I feel like enough of the similarities, I'm just like, oh, maybe this is like a, a cousin <laughs> to the Nomai or something. Was that a voice? Again, you? Again? New friends! No, 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 they said again. Also, Elder said grandparent, singular. Are we a species that can, like, self-replicate? I don't remember what it's called, but it's like you can self-replicate. And do we crash land 
quote unquote crash land on our own planet every time, but this is just our planet. What? <gasps> this has left a lot of questions for me. I'm really interested in what the story may be. If this, if this mysterious voice has encountered us before, I think maybe somehow, if this is either, I don't think this is time loop, but I think there's some sort of like memory wipe, go back in, see if we can find a different way to fix this world. Maybe, maybe this time we can do it, you know, and they try different things each time. I don't know. It's exciting. It's good stuff. Um, that's it for this demo. Again, Wishlist Distant Bloom. If you are interested in finding out more about the game and hearing from the developers once they have a release date, once they have any announcements, um, and once they launch, you can also wishlist and it'll tell you about sales. So it's really helpful. Um, thank you, Ember Trail, again, for letting us play this demo and making it available for a Wholesome Snack or through Wholesome Snack. And um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I think this game offers a lot and you initially I, at least I initially played it and I was like oh yeah we're a cute little alien we're gonna make the world green um but there's a lot under the surface that I was unexpectedly and pleasantly surprised by with its narrative so I can't wait to play more um, if you enjoyed this and you enjoy discovering indie games, please do follow me here on TikTok and Twitch. I'm Kim Chica everywhere uh, except for Twitter, <laughs> but Kim Chica 25 there. And until next time you visit the cafe, I hope you have lots of wonderful days and nights ahead of you. <laughs> I guess many. <laughs> and uh, that you find lots of games to play. And I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs>